What's up, Urban Acolyte Army? My name is Prince, and I'm an Urban Acolyte. I just just got home from seeing Avengers Infinity War. I want to give you guys my initial impressions. So this is going to be my Avengers Infinity Wars. No spoiler review. I'm not going to give up any spoilers. Just want to tell you guys what I thought about the movie uh, after seeing it. And I literally just got home 10 minutes ago. Um, I, if, uh, if I seem kind of out of it or like washed out or not excited, um, it's not cause I didn't like the movie. I, I enjoyed this movie greatly, but it's late. Uh, I've been up all day. I worked, I voted and, um, I had a, uh, I had a fallout with uh, a close, well, I don't know, uh, somebody who I thought was a close friend and, uh, I'm kind of bummed out from that. And, uh, you know, and then I took that, took that with me into seeing the movie. Um, so, you know, somebody's going to say, Prince, you don't seem too enthused or whatever, you know, the Disney, I, you know, you guys know I'm a Disney shill. So they obviously paid me to say that I like the movie. No, but seriously, I really loved this movie. I know somebody's going to say, well, what, what movie is it like? What what uh, Marvel MCU movie is it most like? Um, it's like none of them and like all of them. Like seriously, uh, one of the things, my favorite thing about this movie is how they like weaved everything together, right? All these different characters in the MCU that have had their own respective uh, films. The stories are all uh interwoven right and you have and 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 so it's like all of the movies but none of them in the sense that when captain when you see captain america it's like a captain america movie when you see doctor strange and um uh well uh benedict wong i i can't think of his character's name but it's like from the doctor strange movies iron man and and spider-man uh, well iron man his part is like an Iron Man movie. And then Iron Man and Spider-Man is like Spider-Man Homecoming. The Guardians of the Galaxy is their parts are like a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Thor's stuff is like Thor Ragnarok. And when you look at Thor Ragnarok and like when I first saw the trailer for that, I said that that like what Taika Waititi is doing, it, it, it's got a flavor of a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And then you know this isn't a spoiler we've seen it in the trailers that thor is is with the guardians of the guy Ga- actually no because we saw that uh i think we even saw it in the uh one of the post post credit things for thor ragnarok that you know he was going to encounter the guardians of the galaxy um it's like yo it makes sense why they brought in taika waititi to do thor ragnarok and it has this it's very colorful it has this feel that uh that uh feels like what uh james gunn is is done with the guardians of the galaxy movies right and so it's like all of it's like they took all everything that you love about all of the marvel movies and just merged it into one and so and it and it flows it's not like whoa what's going on here like even you know obviously even with the stuff on wakanda like it's even you know the 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 stuff on wakanda it's like oh now this feels like black panther of course i don't want anyone to be mistaken you know chadwick boseman has been saying look don't go in avengers infinity war expecting black panther 1.5 or one and a half or anything like that because it, it it's not going to feel like a Black Panther movie. Just the stuff that takes place on Wakanda has that feel, has that element of the things that we saw in the Black Panther movie that came out in February, right? The story, uh, it it it's it, it you you're like wow, and there's action, and then you're laughing, and then you're sad, and then you're in suspense, like oh my gosh, like. Because, I mean, we know the story, uh, you know, you've seen the pictures uh, of Thanos. This is the story of Thanos acquiring, right, the Infinity Gems. And there's an Infinity War, right? The Avengers are obviously trying to stop him from, you know, and and, and destroying uh, the galaxy, right? Um, and, you know, it, there's so much going on. You, you go through the full range of emotions 
and that 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 made it difficult like that's why i started with you know some i don't care about your personal life but you know me carrying that into the film made it difficult because you know there the the stakes are high here um and i don't want to say too much about that because i don't want to get any spoilers but i'm just gonna say like this this is an emotional movie y'all it is emotional right the characters uh get emotional and the uh the audience they they get emotional um and that that was something that i really did like about this movie it was a different uh outing from when i saw black panther black panther was like a cultural experience right people who were not marvel fans not geek culture type fans people who don't normally see these kind of movies you know go check out my black panther non-spoiler review where i talked about you know that there, there were like facebook events right there was a party going on in the theater where i saw it and people were running you know it was like all the ladies were, were dolled up like they were going to the club and uh and most of the time little easter eggs and stuff they you know didn't know what was going on because it's not the kind of stuff that they go and see right and some of my friends who were uh who are not into the these kinds of movies you know they said yo like i don't i don't i'm not enthused at all to see infinity war the way i was with black panther and i'm like and you know i tried to explain to them like hey well black panther kind of sets up things in infinity war right if i had if I had done those Black Panther videos back in February uh, before I decided to take a break, I would have talked all about how uh, Black Panther was was setting up things in Infinity War. We, you know, you've seen it in the trailers and it'll make more sense when you see the movie. Right. Um, uh, even things there's an, there's some exact reasons why they're in Wakanda. Right. Um, and you'll just have to see the movie to know why. Uh, but this uh this this movie it, it was it was amazing you know 10 years in the making a decade in the making marvel is built up to this and uh i don't know i i really i really liked it um you know i'm not all oh, man dude, you gotta go see it and, uh, i'm you know i i wish i could i wish i could be that way but you know i'm i'm being real with you guys like i'm kind of i'm kind of sad about you know the fact that uh, i couldn't keep my mouth shut i lost my temper i lost my cool for two seconds and then at two seconds i said something that ended a friendship and uh you know i don't have a time gym to, to turn time back and uh and take that away so i've got to live with you know live with that and uh i took that into the movie i did enjoy the movie and uh I'm telling you guys, you know, if you were on the fence about this, go go and see it. If you love Marvel movies, go and see it. Like every it, everything is there. Everything. I can't think of any plot line, storyline um that that didn't get touched on, mentioned in this film, right? So it it it, it brings everything together and uh make sure you stay for the post credit scene we know that one of the next movies coming out is going to be captain marvel's like origin story or whatever and um when you see the movie you will understand why uh why captain marvel is her origin story is going to be like the next movie uh from the mcu well there's ant-man and the wasp um and uh I'm going to actually, you know what, after having seen this, I'm I, cause I didn't like Ant-Man, but now I'm going to be looking for, cause that's the next movie from the MCU. This is actually going to make me want to go back and, um, or one, one go back and watch Ant-Man again, but I, I'm more interested in seeing Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, I won't say why, but, uh, there's questions that I have, um, you know, from you know after having seen this movie and then ant-man and the wasp i'm going to be wondering what the timeline is and just some some things that i i'll have to wait and, and say when i do a, a a full review where i can discuss spoilers and i probably won't do that until like 
uh, next week, like maybe Monday or Tuesday, because uh, I want to give everybody the weekend to uh, enjoy the movie uh, without being spoiled. Um, but anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, if uh, if you have any questions, please don't post any spoilers down in the comments below. But uh, I'd like to, if you've seen it already, I'd like to hear, you know, just kind of your basic likes, dislikes without, you know, touching on any spoilers. So let me know all of that down below and I'll be checking back to see what you all have to say. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, click that subscribe button and uh, take your first steps towards joining the Urban Acolyte Army. Embark on the journey of becoming the hero of your own story and become a force for change in your community. You can continue to support the channel. You can do that by checking out more videos and sharing some of uh, some of your favorite videos from my channel. That's how you help the channel grow. Uh, that's how you help spread the reach and the message and what we're trying to do here. Uh, but anyway, guys, I really am exhausted. I need to meditate and go to bed. Um, so I will hang out with you guys another time. But thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing and may the force of others be with you always.